Hi, I'm Tim Gordon of filmgordon.com and welcome to Real Reviews. On this show, we discuss my views on upcoming films where we invite you to experience film through the eyes of a true film addict. You can also read or listen to past reviews either on the filmgordon.com or subscribe to this podcast on our YouTube channel. And we also invite you to follow us at Film Gordon on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Now, this week on the show, we discuss Nobody, which is an action thriller directed by Ilya Nashula and written by Derek Kolstad. The film stars Bob Odenkirk, Connie Nielsen, Riza, Aleski Sarabafka, and Christopher Lloyd. My apologies to Ales Aleski on the misspelling of his, or the mispronunciation of his name. Now, Hutch Mansell, played by Odenkirk, is an underestimated and mild-mannered family man described as being unresisting to his life's hardships. One night, two thieves break into a suburban home and he declines to defend himself or his family, hoping to prevent any serious complications. His son, Blake, played by Gage Monroe, and wife, Becca Nielsen, are disappointed in Hutch and begin to drift away from him the incident ignites his resistment, resentment about being an unsubstantial father and a husband, thus awakening his suppressed skills and illuminating his dark secrets. Now, Odin Kirk, for many people who have, have seen him on uh, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, as uh, the most unlikely of heroes in a story like this. And of course, the, the initial setup of the film, we see him kind of going through his daily routine uh, to show kind of how life has become almost mundane and meaningless for him. Every day, he kind of does the same thing, whether it's getting up, getting coffee, going to a meaningless job, getting on the bus, doing his thing. And as I said, one night, uh, you know, when there's a break in in this house, he clearly has an opportunity to take down one of the attackers and his son fights back. He does not. And his son starts looking at him uh, as if his dad is kind of like a coward. And it's in that moment that much like we think about the Incredible Hulk, a character who maintains a sense of calm until he is pushed too far suddenly Odenkirk unleashes some skills as, as uh, Liam Neeson have said in films that, you know, I'm a man of specific skills. He unleashes some very specific skills. And I think the film does a really good job that they keep a lot of it kind of, kind of murky and muddled and hazy. And you really don't know exactly where he got his certain training from, but he unleashes uh, not necessarily any significant fighting styles. It's not like he comes in and he knows martial arts or some form of martial arts. He's just a man who can fight. <laughs> like, you know, just cut to the chase. And this film reminds me a lot of John Wick. Uh, not in the fact that Wick is like, you know, Wick, of course, is a master fighter. And, and a person who not, knows how to use guns and knives real well, uh, Odenkirk's character is not as skilled, stylistically skilled as uh, what Keanu Reeves would be in a film like that. But what he produces in this film to me is a, a revenge fantasy that is very entertaining. Um, I like this film a lot. Um, I liked it more than I thought I would. Uh, it is a very pleasant you know, summer surprise. This would be a movie if theaters, and I guess theaters are opening uh, as we speak, but this is a film that would be a, what we would call a popcorn film that you would go in, sit down, and really kind of enjoy if you like violence. If violence is your forte, I'll just say that because this is a very violent film. And of course, there is... Um, uh, 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 a villain in the film, I should just basically say that uh, is a, a, a Russian villain who in one of the earlier fights that Odenkirk's character has, uh, he makes the mistake of, of injuring uh, the son of, uh, or the brother, I should say, of this Soviet villain who unleashes a torrent of his men to try to take down 
uh, Manziel and his entire family. And it, let's just say this does not end well, but it's a very, very enjoyable film. Uh, nobody, uh, I would say, is one of the pleasant surprises. Um, it was a film that when you look at the, the trailer, you're like, okay, I want to check this film out. Nobody ends up being a really entertaining um, romp. I, I like Odenkirk in this film. Um, I could clearly see uh, that if Liam Neeson is able to kind of uh, have a side career doing these sorts of stories, Odenkirk can definitely come back and play this character. It also puts me in the mindset that if you put him and John Wick together, it'd be almost an unbeatable combination. They would be like human Avengers <laughs> and taking down the bad guys. But as I said, I really like Nobody. I gave this film a B plus. Uh, it is currently debuting, uh, or actually currently playing in theaters and on uh, premium video on demand. And also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel or read current or past reviews on the filmgordon.com. Um, you can also follow us at Film Gordon at Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And thank you for listening or watching, and we'll see you guys on the other side. You guys take care.